around. Shouldn't we have heard something by now? Relax. These things take time. It's labor. It's unpredictable. She wouldn't want us to worry, so don't. Uh, now we're not worried. We're just eager for the new arrival. For another little Forrester, he means. Uh, this baby is half Spencer. Yeah, and with any what? luck, you will have his uncle's exceptional <laughs> good looks, charm, and business acumen. Uh, I think oh. you mean his dad's good looks and creative flair. I really feel like we have enough dressmakers running around here. <laughs> I intend to mold my nephew. Or niece. Or niece. Or niece. Into a future media mogul. <laughs> I think our dad would have something to say about that. Oh, yeah. He's more of the hands-on kind of parent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. He likes to control things. Yeah. In a good way, of course. Still no word. Well, you know babies are coming their own sweet time. Something you'll experience not too long from now. Only my wife won't be delivering, her sister will be. And you'll be just as nervous and excited. <laughs> I already am. And by the time that big day comes, I'm gonna be a nervous wreck. I bet Ridge is pretty excited. This is in his first rodeo. He knows the drill. He helped deliver RJ. Good old Ridge, always there when you need him. It's just too bad he's never in it for the long haul. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, please, Mom, don't defend the guy, not after everything he's put you through. <laughs> Put him through things too. But we're different people now. He's found something special with Caroline. Yeah, so special he forgot to tell her about the vasectomy he had while he was in Paris. I mean, who knows if he would have ever come clean if Caroline didn't want a baby so bad. The point is, he did everything to make sure they could have a child together. Not before it almost cost him his marriage. Well, that and a lot of unnecessary heartache for Caroline. Caroline has been really good for Rich. Maybe if I'd been a little bit more like her. Mom, please, don't sell yourself short. You're an amazing woman. Any man would be lucky to have you in his life. It's not your fault that Rich has some sort of perpetual addiction to women. Honey, he's not like that anymore. Well, he's still playing games. Or at least until he fessed up about that vasectomy. OK, Rich's vasectomy is not public knowledge. I probably shouldn't have said anything. And you probably shouldn't have kept Caroline in the dark for so long, but that's rich. Always keeping secrets. Oh, you two need to get busy as well. What, busy with what? What do you mean with what? You put a ring on her finger, now, now get her to the altar so you can start uh, working on the next Spencer kid. Oh, uh, Spencer Forrester, okay, sorry. Spencer Forrester. Hey, well, well, I'm not sure I'd call that work. Oh, I know, I wouldn't call oh. it work. Yeah, well, okay, well, whatever, all right? Just stop, stop pussyfooting. Don't let the grass grow. Don't dilly-dally. Okay, I'm going to cut him off. the makes it yeah, official, you. Please, did please. he just say dilly-dally? <laughs> uh, speaking of what you're talking about, have you made any wedding plans yet? Um, well, like where and when the ceremony's going to be? Yes. That out. I, don't know what I guess it won't be on a mountaintop in Aspen. Oh, wow. 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 Okay, um, um, you know, no, 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 it's, 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 it's fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, no sense of just tiptoeing around it. Um. Yeah, okay, I was married to Liam, and now I'm engaged to Wyatt. But hey, things happen for a reason. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, found it. All of it. Bunch of baby stuff from when your dad and Thorne and Kristen Aww. and Felicia were babies. Yeah, yeah uh, I remember uh, Grandma had this box <laughs> laying around somewhere, so I had Granddad help me check it out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Someone's really great. getting into this baby, huh? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, yes, he is. <laughs>
What's up? I want you to come by the office. I'm thinking of making some changes. At Spencer? Yeah. Liam's gone. For how long, who knows? But it's putting too much on Katie. And she really doesn't need that right now. Oh, come on. Why didn't I get one of these growing up? That's your grandmother's yeah. handiwork. From very early on, she was convinced that Ridge was going to follow in my footsteps. <laughs> Show it to Dad. He'll get a kick out of that. I know. <laughs> I'm sure both parents will get a kick out of this. I will admit, I was surprised when I learned about Caroline's pregnancy, especially because of Ridge's medical condition, azo I've something or other. I've never heard of it. Well, Ridge didn't either until the doctor told him. Anyway, most men would have given up if they heard that they couldn't have children, but not Ridge. He wouldn't be denied. And now look, Ridge and Caroline are having a baby. Oh, my goodness. Hey. How are you doing? You all right? Oh, I know. You want to get some Oh, no. Wait. Who's this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he your baby's fully healthy? I have everybody downstairs is just dying here. Oh well, I'll go down, tell them the news. And uh they're probably gonna wanna come up. Is that okay? Absolutely, as long as you're up for it. Okay. Yeah? You good? Yeah. Uh, I'll limit the amount of people. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How are you holding up? Good. Good. Could have fooled me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just disappointed I had all these issues with Dad wanting to start a family with Caroline. Yeah, but I had those too. He accepted it, and we moved on. I really am happy for them. Me too. Kind of hoping that this kid will bring us together in some way. Why wouldn't it? This baby's a part of you too. Can a new father get one of those? Is the baby here? Seven pounds, three <gasps> ounces. Hey. Congratulations. That's awesome, Dad. Yeah, I mean, I'll have you sworn now? Yeah. <laughs> I should. Your granddad again, Dad. Oh, hey. Gosh. Oh, that's what I've been waiting to hear. Boy or girl? Boy. Boy. <laughs> Boys are so much fun. How's my niece? I'm sure she's elated. Just like you, right, Pop? She is exhausted, but she's glowing. And baby Forrester? Happy and healthy. His parents' pride and joy. Good. I'm thrilled for all three of you. Me too, Dad. I, that baby's so lucky to have a dad like you. I think we should celebrate this new arrival. I'm going to pop the cork on that champagne that Katie brought. Good idea. Can we wait on that? I want to get back to my wife and kid. All right. Can we all come? Of course. We're family. We don't need permission. Mm, Bill wants to meet his new protege. I get that. But the new mom's pretty wiped out, so let's give her a break. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. We should let her rest. Wait, wait, wait. We, we wait, wait a second. Caroline is OK. You're not keeping anything from no, us. No, she's fine. I just don't want everyone crowding her. What about doting grandfathers? Don't they get any preferential treatment here? Doting grandfathers? Yeah. They go to the front of the line for oh, sure. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> what about big sisters? Yeah, you can go up there. You guys should go first. And uh, the big brother? How about that? Nah, that, that's just too many people. I think that's enough for now. Okay. Mom, I've got a meeting I have to go to. Just text me if you hear anything. Oh. It's Katie. Is it all right to have some visitors? Yes, get in here, you two. Ask you the sister in the program. Yeah. Yes. Yes, this is uh, Joanne and Lori, our, our midwife and doula. We couldn't have done it without them. Actually, she could have. <laughs> Giving birth is pretty instinctual. We were just here for moral support. Caroline and Ridge did all the work. Dad really came through, huh? Oh my gosh, yes, he did. There's plenty of video to prove it, too. So, but get over here, please. Come meet him. Come. Oh, so sweet. 
No. This is your Gramps and your big sister. Welcome to our wonderful, wacky family. Hey. Have you decided on a name? No. We just kind of wanted to meet him first, you know? Yeah. Whatever you choose will be perfect. It's so crazy. I just... I could never imagine falling in love so hard, so fast, just from the moment that he arrived. Another grandson. <laughs> Another child for Ridge. I couldn't be more proud. I just texted Karen and Danny. They are obviously very excited and send their heartfelt congratulations. And they were able to get a plane out, so they're on their way. They'll be here soon. And they were asking about a name. I told them you had Bill at the top of the list. Bill, uh, well, I, I can correct that when they get here. Oh, that hurts. Uh, Bill, yeah. don't you have something for the new father? Oh, yes, I do. One of the finest Cubans money can buy, and I want you to enjoy this in relatively Good health. Wow. You know, I will never understand what my niece sees in you, Forrester, but you are the father of a child that she wanted very much. So, congratulations. And try to steer the kid away from making dresses for a living. If you need any other fatherly advice, you know where to find it. Right? Of course. No, I'll keep that in mind. Right. Excuse okay. me. I'm really happy for Caroline and you, and I, I can't wait to see the baby. But, uh, are, are you trying to send me a message or something? What's going on? What are you talking about? Not letting me go up with Granddad and Steph. I think I explained that. Yeah, I know, but you and I have our problems. I'm just trying to limit the amount of people that go up there. No. There's something else going on here. Looks like future fashion designer fingers to me. Oh, Ridge would so love that. <laughs> yeah, his grandpa would be very happy about that, too. Although I probably won't be around for that. Oh, oh please, yeah. you will outlive us all. Yes, and you have so much wisdom to impart to him. Actually, your mother is absolutely right about that. I'm a very wise person. Now, one thing I've learned is that there's nothing more important than family. And also that uh, my family is just showing affection when they give me a bad time about eggnog at Christmas. And, uh, and the moments like this are... Uh, Caroline, he is so lucky to have you in his life. <laughs> Thank you for this wonderful addition to our family. This isn't the time, Thomas. Caroline just had a baby. And, and, and I'm being Thomas a jerk again. Dad, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to be like this. I'm excited to see the baby. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm glad to have you back in the house with you and Caroline and, and the baby. And thank you so much for letting me stay here. Dad, I know I've been a disappointment to you, the way that I've treated women and you. But I'm changing. I really am. I am committed to being the son that you deserve. And I'll do whatever I have to do. I babysit, I will change diapers, anything you want me to do. I mean, you're a new dad. And if I'm lucky, one day I'll be in your position. But today's your day. Massimo Moroni has another grandchild. Perhaps I should contact him. I know Ridge won't. No, no. You are going to stay out of this. Ridge is very happy right now. He has another baby. Caroline's child. A child who is now center stage. I wonder what that means for RJ and Thomas. 
So, a little looking up at yes, Caroline. Have another one. Yes, it really. Yes, I'm talking about that. Talk to you. Well, our little brother is quite the looker, but what do you expect with Caroline and Dad for parents? Everyone else downstairs sends their love and their congratulations. I'm sure Uncle Bill had something very profound to say. <laughs> profound? No, it, no, but he was talking, and it's it's pretty obvious how much she cares for you and for this little boy now. And the others? The others are gonna have to wait. Right now, it's just you and me. And this fantastic little boy. What are you gonna do with your life, huh? I can't wait to see how it's gonna unfold. How incredible that's gonna be for you. I love you, son. And hey, this woman over here. She's pretty cool. I love her too. Oh, my goodness.